But nothing ever stopped me From dusting off my shoes You might think you'll see me Falling to the ground But I threw up my umbrella When rain stops hitting down Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. It's 6am here in little old Kahuna, Australia. Now on the 14th, I think it is, of November, or 13th of November, let's get that right. And it's it's raining outside. It's it's wonderful late spring weather. It's, it was cold yesterday. We even got the fire going on inside the house. So for here at this time of year, it's totally uncharacteristic sort of weather. Um, we've got a reasonably big show here today. We've got a pretty cool guest with some really cool photos to show you guys. Um, there's already a, quite a few people in here. Morning, everybody. Uh, we'll quickly go through who's here. Smartphone Mike from Smartphone Photography Training. Looks like he's had a set an alarm this morning. He's in Geelong, not that far from me as far as the global community have, that we have here goes. He's about uh, three, maybe four hours away from me. And uh, he's hopefully awake and set the alarm and got up at the right time. It's a joke in that, and I'll tell you about it in a minute. Ah, Mario. Mario, the creator of Even Longer is here. That's that's good to see. Um, Dave from My Aperture Lens Morning. Greg McMillan all the way over in Canada. There's lots of people in here. And Greg's telling me I'm late. Well, there was a reason, and I'll explain it later. Um, Shane's guest will know. Does anyone know if it's possible to apply a preset function mask in Lightroom? Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so... Today, we've got, well, let's talk about who, I wanted to talk about members. We've got a few new members here, uh, Peter uh, and Adric. Hope I say that name properly. You guys know that I'm just bloody useless at pronouncing your names. Really sorry about that. Uh, Shelly, Sam and Heather, all new members on the channel. If you want to help out the channel, there's a little join button somewhere there and you can join that. All the presets that I've got over there on uh, phonephotoschool.com.au, you get those for free when you become a member on the channel. And there's also other content and stuff that we put in there um, for you guys exclusively. Um, so let's bring on the guest. You know who it is. Um, and we'll just see if he's a- awake. Sounds like he's awake. I'm awake. <laughs> I, I was. I, I don't have my wig. I've got my dark brown glasses. I don't have my dark brown wig. I have no hair at all. Is, is yeah, this it's the gold. balding men show, or is this the? Ah, oh, mate, the, 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 some of the some of the uh, guests that I've had on here, where it's like so, there was two of us on here that that were both had beards and both had bald heads, and someone made a comment. They came in and they said, "Oh, there's something wrong with my with my my my, my camera. It's none of the people have hair. Like the top half of the video has no hair." <laughs> Pretty bad. How are you, Russell? I am just fine. It is absolute. A stunning pleasure to be on your show. It is now 11 a. 06 a.m. in California, and I'm in that. Very and good. you were talking about your weather. It is a uh, starting to be a chilly day in the San Francisco mm-hmm. Bay Area. Winter is coming our way. I did not want to give spring to you, but unfortunately, you are getting <laughs> our spring. And, and we actually got rain. I hadn't seen rain in the Bay Area for over a year and a half. So wow. we've got a bit, yeah, not not good. California's not getting any rain, and the East Coast is getting all of the rain. Um, so yeah, it's okay, <clears throat> a, a bit crazy. From from what we see on the news, California's either in drought or on fire. That's pretty yes, much what and, we see in the news and here. Yeah. What do we get uh, from Australia? Um, it's either a drought. Or you're on fire. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Um, and we have floods occasionally too. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, we'll get too much rain. We'll get our hundred year rain. And then um, the hills will start to melt and they'll complain that there's too much rain. <laughs> that's, but, okay. That's right. Yeah. But we are not here to talk about weather. Um, we're yeah. here. To, I'm here to give you um, information, education. And a bit of humor. Can we do that today? <laughs> Did you have to put it in that order, though? No. Yeah. Okay. Humor, <laughs> um, uh, education, and information. Um, well, but I have some questions. Are... I have, I have, I have oh. some questions oh. for you. 
that the studio yep. audience needs to know. We <laughs> need, as your followers, we need to know. Yes, Russell Brown is one of your followers. <laughs> um, I'm and I'm not now. leaving the show until <laughs> I'm referred to as a bloody legend. No, I can't. Bloody legend. Wanna... No, no, you can't. Bloody Just... legend. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Just tell me that arbitrarily. You have to... During the show, I'll have to have a reason that you to okay. give me that, that title. So the first question. <laughs> first question. Isn't this he... my show? Don't yeah, I, <laughs> I want to know <laughs> how much. Are you a farmer? Do you go out and take care of sheep and cattle? Do you are you on a horseback? Are are <laughs> what, just what are you uh, when you're not in the studio and and we all assume <laughs> that you are just a photographer all day and you go out every night and you take photographs of the stars, <clears throat> but we never see you, you know, with the cattle or the sheep. But are you doing this on a daily basis? Almost. So yeah. I work. Um, uh, I work on a farm. Um, yeah, it's one of my neighbours' farms. It's it's a dairy farm. So I work there. There's, oh, what do we have? How many of them? Probably five hundred and fifty odd cows there. Um, they're all Jersey cows, so little brown mice looking cows. Um, yeah. lovely cows, wonderful animals to work with. And I, I do a lot of tractor work and maintenance work and stuff like that on that farm. Um. And it's they're, they're friends of ours that I work there for. So uh, I'm lucky enough that as my other parts of my business grows, like this um, photography and so forth, I I wind back my hours. In fact, um, this week just gone is my first week or second week. I can't think now um, where I've actually dropped a day there. So um, there's there's that, and then um, then there's. Um, on that farm, we also do like hay work and feeding of cattle. It's all just basically farm work. Um, and wow. on our own farm here, we have dairy goats here dairy where I am. Goats. Yeah. So we, we've got um, a number of dairy goats that uh, my wife, she makes um, beauty products like um, all naturally um I don't know. She she can give you the the, the sales yeah. spiel. I'm no good at that. I, 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 um, I, but we yes, we don't have the. I was just curious. I don't I get the sense. I, I I know you as a photographer, uh, but I don't know you as a farmer. I I, yep. I used to, I used to live on a farm in Kent, Washington, Washington State, and we raised. I I gosh, we had cattle. We had. I was in 4-H. Yeah. I had chickens. I had ducks. Mm -hmm. I had pheasants. I had peacocks. <laughs> um, we had a goat for a couple weeks, but we never it wasn't a serious farmer like you. But uh, there, the background. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, I'm, may, a, I'm not uh, a serious farmer. I'm, I'm the furthest oh. thing from serious you could think of. Oh, okay. I, I, <laughs> we, we, no, it, it's, it's a very serious farm. Like it's it's a it's a proper commercial enterprise where they are there. It's um, uh, but I, I just you know I, I'm I'm kind of. Uh, I, I was full time there, and and as I say, as things have grown and grown, um, I cut back on the hours there. So I, I, I like to think that I'm kind of the part time guy there now. <laughs> that, that's how I try to get my head around it, so I can work on other stuff. But it, it also gives me the opportunity, because it's um, you can't like have a dairy farm in the middle of the city. It's got to be out in the rural community. So that means for me, and what we do here is that there's no city. It's there's no light pollution. It's perfect skies at night perfect. where there's no clouds and stuff but it has its benefits absolutely has. I, I would rather deal I, with 600 cows every day than 600 people every day okay so now we can now return this to our regular broadcast station you may now we can now talk about photography and cameras and phones <laughs> and you can ask me my first question I, I think i think i'm ready um or should I tell you what I think they should know? <laughs> well, I've, <clears throat> I've got some questions here for you. Oh, God, okay, he's got they, questions. They, they, for, darn, they are, darn. Okay. Somebody, I, I'm, I'm ready for. I'm ready for. I'm ready for question number one. Remember, yeah, have a go at that. I'm here to educate and entertain. So let's let's see what we can do. <laughs> it's I'm, my I'm show, ready. Russell. Reverse you don't had. I like that. Yeah. That's very clever. <laughs> so. Uh, what I ask everyone here, and I know you haven't watched this before, 
and, and, and I know this because you just told me a minute ago. But if you had watched this show regularly, yes, um, you would know that I'm meant to ask this question. So, who 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 is Russell Brown in a tweet? So, 140 characters. Who are you? Um, 140 characters. Um, <laughs> uh, I am. I am. The crit. Uh, oh, this is a good one. I should have practiced <laughs> this one. So wait, wait for it. Um, a tweet. The the ultimate, incredible, amazing <laughs> Adobe employee. <laughs> How about that? Did, How about were you that? were you counting them in your head as you said that? Yes, I was. <laughs> That's gold. Um, um, so, what do I, you I am, do for I, Adobe? What do I? Oh no, that gets this. This is okay. Let's go through the history. I came to Adobe in 1985. Don't think about that. Um, many of your uh, the audience wasn't even born yet. I was the first creative director at Adobe. I did annual mm -hmm. reports and packaging in the early days, but then I discovered the wonders of doing presentations and standing on a mm -hmm. stage in front of thousands of people. And that was pretty fun. I'd like to do this more than doing an annual report. So I yep. hired other people who were much better at doing annual reports. Uh -huh. And I started doing presentations and special events. And then that sort of mutated what, it, what I am today. I'm, mm -hmm. Am I sort of a specialist evangelist? But I've been at Adobe for 37 years. Notice how I lean toward the camera. Fair dinkum. 37, 37 years. 37 years. So I am, wow. in the big picture of things, there are 20,000 people at Adobe. Is that, Is that right? right? Is that right? There's a lot of people. It seems a lot the of people. That's a lot of people. Okay. And, and um, I'm employee number two as of today. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, I was a, I was originally employee number thirty eight in 1985, uh -huh. but all the other employees have retired or left. Yep. And so there's only one other person who's been here longer at Adobe. He lives in Oregon, and um, uh, uh, so that employee number two. I am, um, I am extremely fortunate. I'm extremely mm -hmm. blessed that they allow me to. Do whatever I need to do to promote and um, get the word out about Adobe products. And yep. um, uh, th there it is. That, that was very serious. I mean, I'm getting a little you, too you serious. Obviously, you yeah. obviously enjoy it because you wouldn't be there for so so long. Yes. I am I'm blessed in that I enjoy my job. How many people do we know who truly enjoy their job? And um, that's a... That's a prize okay. thing to have, the ability to enjoy yeah. your job. And how have I been here for so many years? I've been here for so many years because software changes. New things come yeah. out, uh, new yeah. toys. It's, I'm in a toy factory. And then I get to go in and talk <laughs> to the toy designers yeah. and say what mm -hmm. features I want in the toys. Yeah. And then um, yeah, they cool. put them. And occasionally, you're really lucky. And they'll put one of your toys in, in, their, um, mm -hmm. in their bag of uh, goodies. So yeah, it's cool. pretty cool that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Greg McMillan uh, says, don't feel too bad. He's been there since 1984. Yes. So Greg McMillan's, um, he, he's in the community that we have here. He, he's kind of our, he, he's kind of at least my go-to guy when it comes to iPhone stuff. Um, he's yeah. been a guest on this show as well. He has a uh, podcast all about iPhone photography. So it's... Um, Clearly, clearly he hasn't really had nice me guy. on his show. So how, you know. How, how, oh, you, you, you probably get it. You'll probably get an email after this now. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that you I, said that. So I, I find sometimes, <laughs> am I sort of a has-been? I feel like a has-been sometimes. No. Right? When, yeah. when, when people start seeing your photos shortly, we'll go through those. You, yeah. you are so far from being a bloody has-been. Uh, but yeah, I used to so get invited far. to a lot more events. And... Um, <laughs> And so I don't get invited. So I'm 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 honored when you invite me. I'm like, okay, okay. But it takes an Australian it takes an Australian to invite me. No takes one. an Aussie. 
a yeah, bloody was, Aussie. A bloody Aussie. <laughs> now, I was trying to practice some of my Aussie expressions, but I gave up. Because you know, I, I think I gave up. I, I think I'm one shrimp short of a Barbie. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I got that one wrong, didn't I? <laughs> you, you only missed out of Foster's there as well. <laughs> uh, no, nobody. I, I could tell you that nobody here calls them shrimp. Nobody. No, no nobody. Well, see, that's no, why I they're, prawns. <laughs> they're prawns. I'm one prawn short of a Barbie. I'm, one prawn, <laughs> but no one says that either. <laughs> no, they don't say that either. I, I, I have to keep on working on, on that. It's one. very much a Paul Hogan American tourism ad thing. Oh, but, okay. Okay. When I've been um, over there, friends of mine say, uh, "Oh, I've got all this beer for you. It's all Fosters." What? No one drinks Fosters except Americans. No, no one here drinks Fosters. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. I, I, yeah, I don't. Uh, there's some bad beers over here as well. Um, oh, there's bad okay, beers we gotta, everywhere. We, we, I, I need to. <clears throat> so, um, I need to say something important. Um, for all of your mobile photographers, I think that you and I are living in a miraculous time. I think you and I mm -hmm. are living in the, one of the most amazing technology times. And I've been around for mm -hmm. quite a while, but I think it's the combination of um, the latest iPhones, the latest Samsung phones, and goodness sake, I'm going to say Huawei. I can't even say that. Mm -hmm. um, it's all of this phone technology and I must say, in combination with Lightroom, there, I gave my sales pitch for the day, but yep. the ability to capture an image and automatically put it into your phone and start editing it and sharing mm -hmm. it is absolutely in mm. incredible. Yeah. I believe that the creativity, the possibility of the creative options we have are mind boggling and why did this all sort of happen right now? It's like we've got mm. the, the right phones, the right cameras, the right way to edit them and the right way to share them. Somebody would you know, argue with me that, that Instagram and Facebook are taking over our lives. They are. Um, mm. And um, But yeah, that's just my statement uh, for the day is that aren't mm. we so lucky <laughs> to, yeah. to yeah. have these toys? I, yeah, I, and, I actually say that a, a fair bit on on the channel with different yeah. live streams and different, certainly different conversations that I have with people. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if it's been on podcasts and stuff. When when I've when people ask what's what's the best phone, I'm like they're all bloody good now. You, you can't really buy a bad phone now. The cameras that are in these things are just incredible. And and when you combine it with like what you're talking about here, it just I've got to be honest. I, I go on trips and stuff now. I don't even take a camera. I just take my phones. They yeah. just it's small. It just does the job. It's easy. Stop. Stop. It's... Wait a minute. Stop. You've d you did take your camera. You took your camera phone. It's, <laughs> it's a camera. It captures a moment. I've been accused of not being a photographer because taking a photograph with a phone is not a photograph because uh... you need, quote, I heard this, quote, you do not need any talent to take a mm -hmm. photograph with a phone. Uh, ah. cool. You know who says that? Somebody who just spent a lot of money on a camera. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, talent. <clears throat> talent, we both know. That it's, we can both, anybody can pick up a, a phone and start taking pictures. Um, mm -hmm. But then it comes to the, the talent in it. And it took me I took, you know, back in high school, I'm taking darkroom, you know, shooting photographs mm -hmm. and exposing things in the darkroom. But I swear, mm -hmm. I'm just now, it took me, you know, 40 years to become a good photographer, um, mm -hmm. to understand what a good image should look like. I'm looking at other photographers and um, analyzing yep. their work. And... I think it's true. I think you have to take 10,000. Isn't that this? What's the theory? Te you have to take 10,000 photographs or do mm. something 10,000 times. Yeah, 10, and times. then you can That's consider right. yourself an expert. I may yeah. have just hit that 10,000. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> well, I think, well, these days with digital photography, it's easy to yeah. do that. Like, yeah. you, you would be, there'd be something seriously wrong if you took 10,000 images and you weren't good at the end of that. 
that there'd be something seriously wrong. When you go out on a shoot, how many photographs? I'll shoot for me. Yeah, well, I'll shoot five hundred photographs of a certain mm -hmm. place. Yep, but I only like two of those photos. What? Um, I think wedding photography's changed that for me. Um, ah. I, I shoot with a lot of intent now. So with when I first started shooting weddings, for example, I might take eight or nine thousand photos throughout throughout the day, throughout a nine hour day. Yeah. So that's you might think that's a lot, but through that amount of time, that's a lot of photos. That's um, a lot of photos. And with with wedding photography, it's it's um, there's a lot of duplicates there because people blink through the natural. So you might take three or four burst photos of that one scene, and you might only take one of those anyway. But now, now I'll go and shoot a wedding. I'll, I'll furnish the customer with you know, four or five hundred photos, and I might only take a thousand now. Uh, I shoot with a lot more intent. So over time, the amount of photos that I've taken gets shorter and shorter and shorter. Just, how, just how, with the intent, going at it with the intent. Yeah. How often are you going out and doing wedding photography these days? Well, in the last 18 months, not very often. Oh. <laughs> it's, it, it's started to kick off again now. So before that, it was um, probably every second weekend uh, I'd be shooting weddings. Um, and well, starting, I think, my first one, uh, because even, even though lockdowns are finished, the restrictions are still in place. So people can, at the moment, I think it's like 50 people at a wedding, um, so even then people are, and, and the way Australia is laid out, we have all states. So every state has its different rules. So if you're where I am and you have family in another state, they might not be able to come. So people are still putting off weddings and put it up. It's been oh. like a, my calendar for the last 18 months has been a game of Tetris. Can I fit it there? Can I put people changing their bookings and stuff? Oh. And these, these poor people getting married, they've got to change their photography, their venue, their, you know, the, the church, the, the caterers, music, oh, it's, it's, been a nightmare for these poor buggers but wow. um once uh i think it's december is pretty much when i start kicking off again um with with weddings and i think i I'm, I'm almost fully booked all the way through until maybe april or may as in almost every weekend with cool. weddings some, one one weekend i've got three weddings going on on one weekend with one with video one with or two with photos so it's it, it's it's starting to open up again now so i do it pretty regularly yeah. You never shoot weddings with an iPhone or a, a phone, do you? I uh, uh, no, I don't. Um, it, I'll, I'll tell you why. It's for the same sort of reason that you just said before. I honestly think I could go to a wedding and shoot a wedding with that. I yes. honestly think I could do that. But, but... people expect <laughs> this big, big bloody camera to put in their face and big lights and stuff. That's what they expect. Um, I, I used to shoot with Olympus, with the, the uh, micro four-thirds cameras. And yeah. I would go to weddings with two uh, EM. So I, I look like a, I'm a bit of a goose of a photo. I, I love techie toys and stuff. So I'll, I'll carry two cameras for just for the focal length. So it's immediate. And I've got to change out lenses and stuff between different scenes of the wedding. And I used to walk around with two EM, EM ones. I think they were yeah, EM mm -hmm. ones. Um, and uh, one with a, a telephoto and one with a portrait lens. And people go, oh, are, are you the photographer, really? Look, your camera oh. is really small. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, Gosh. it's it's that perception. Um, and I I'll, would I'll talk to people about it. it. Doesn't matter what you shoot with; the end result is what matters. Yeah. And that's what, in my head, that's what I, matters. It doesn't matter is, what you shoot. Uh, there's with, a lot of. It's a good there's probably a lot of um, emotion behind that, especially on a serious day like that. They're collecting images. Yeah. My um, yeah. daughter has taken up to become a wedding photographer in Seattle. Alicia mm -hmm. Brown, look her up. Um, okay. Um, and it's a whole new world for her. And she's um, discovering the, many of the issues you are as well. Um, she mm -hmm. does not take the photographs with an iPhone. <laughs> I don't think she would. Um, yeah. This, uh, uh, well, this set my segue, you know, everybody's going, when's Russ going to say something that we need to know? Okay, here it, is. here it is. Can I segue into making a making an iPhone look more impressive? Um, I wanted to chat about toys right now. We were talking about toys. Mm -hmm. uh, um, grips. I'm really into phone grips. Have you ever done a, t a show on phone grips? No. Um, this is called the sh Shift Cam. I must first preface this with: I am not paid. I am not sponsored. I'm only will show things that I use and I love to use. 
and yep. I'm getting no money by showing this to you. Do, do you agree with that? Okay, okay. Yeah, sure. So the shift cam is my latest toy. It has a trigger on top. Let me get this. It has a little um a little trigger ah, here to, yep. to trigger it. And it rotates in uh -huh. in its stuff, but I never rotate it. I merely rotate the camera like this yeah. when I take photographs. Yep. But I think if you're gonna be a serious phone photographer, I, I'm just tired of people running around and holding the phone and trying to photograph something, you know, just uh -huh. like that. So I'm a big fan of things that lets you grip your phone and take really great shots. And this is mm -hmm. called the shift cam. It comes with a trigger, a remote trigger built into it. And wait, there's more. It has a power <laughs> supply built into it. So that uh, they, this pad yep. charges the phone. Yep. Crazy. Okay, shift cam, that's number one. Uh, is this okay for me to talk about this? I'm, of course I'm gonna do it. Anyway. I, 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 I get a, um, I get lots of, um, I don't know what's happened, but I get lots of um, people, um, e companies emailing me saying, "Hey, can you can you put my stuff on your channel?" Oh, and I'll, I'll, I'll look at this stuff and I'll go, "Yeah, that's that's okay. Um, that's that's interesting." And um, I think if it fits the channel and and the and, and the community get something out of it, I'll, I'll bring it on. Um, oh, does that mean but, but you're? Uh, then I'm. I, I shouldn't be talking about my toys I use. No, no, not at all. Oh, no, okay. No, no. Okay. What I was going to say though, I, I had never heard of Shift Cam, and they, yeah, it's, I'm pretty I sure do, I've got an email. I, I'm only me. talking. I'm talking about it because it's cool. Um, yeah. That because that's cool, and I just think. And so here's my second. This one's <laughs> ugly. This this is the Beast <laughs> Grip. Have you ever seen the Beast Grip? Ah, uh, yes. And it looks completely ridiculous and impractical, but it's the best toy on the planet. You can put a strap on this thing. I've been you know, hanging around a um, and climbing up um, in the in the um, you know bosun's chair into a into a sailing ship, and this thing will not fall out. And you grip onto this thing, and you can go climbing places. And be really secure that ah. your cameras, your phone's going to survive, and then you can drop it, and it's inside this cage that mm -hmm. traps it inside, and then you can set it down, and it becomes a little tripod. So that's my big sales pitch. But wait, how does it how does it become a tripod? Oh, it just sits. It just sits on the. Um, as you can see, it just sits on the ground oh, like I this. See. Yep. And, okay. So it fires but, um, it with Bluetooth, does it? Well, no. So oh. I buy the Bluetooth trigger from a Polar Pro, <laughs> uh -huh. and I glue it onto this rig. Ah, uh. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So this one comes with it built in the um, the shift cam. The shift cam. And this yep. one, this one, I had to glue it on. Do you see how I glued it on to the top there? You can see. Yep. Um. So I believe that yeah. a a good grip has to grab onto the phone so well that it can't fall off yep. if you're climbing from the rig of a sailing ship. And it also has to have a trigger to it. And so I sent a picture of this to the people at um, um, Beast Grip and they started mm -hmm. laughing at me. So <laughs> oh, I laughed back at them. So um, craziness. So there's a, a Frankenstein version of a grip that goes on there and um uh you know what i don't like <laughs> don't buy the ones that they put a a that traps your phone inside of a, a, a uh, yep. yeah no yep. you want your phone you want your phone to be your phone and you want to take it out of your device just pop it out of the device and it's now your phone again and it doesn't have any rigging around it mm -hmm. why would i want to put this rigging around my phone and then have to throw that in my pocket so yeah. my moral of the story is um it has to slip into the di device or it has to be hinged has to um pop into a spring-loaded device mm -hmm. um so you would do all of your shooting with with your phone in one of these uh, yeah, cages yeah. would you yeah yep. absolutely absolutely wherever i travel i'm shooting um studio work with mm -hmm. models, I'm shooting outside. Um, 
and going on adventures. And wherever I go, I always have a grip of some sort to grab onto it. My idea of the perfect grip, here's my sales pitch to something that doesn't exist. My idea of the perfect grip is a grip, but also the ability to lock it into a tripod. So uh -huh. I've, I've put this together from several parts and pieces. And so the phone can slip into it. It also has a dovetail to go into the tripod and it yeah. also has a grip. I'm trying to convince somebody in the market to create something that's a grip, but instantly goes onto your tripod. So this doesn't what, exist. What? Yeah. You can't do that with the beast grip one. Has it not got threads that you can mount stuff to? Which one? The, 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 the beast cam? grip? No, the beast, beast grip. Yeah. But it, it's, I can put the little rigging on oh, the bottom. Yeah. I can slip yeah. this on the bottom. But it's, um, I need something smaller and um, more compact. Um, mm -hmm. I also need to, I need it to lock onto the tripod on the bottom and lock onto the tripod right. here and here. Yep. And yep. then I need a switch. I'm, I'm demanding. I want the shift cam to have the ability to lock into a tripod uh, mm -hmm. is what I ideally want. I want that. Hmm. What the thing I want doesn't exist yet. And it's a grip that can immediately lock into a tripod and it's lightweight and convenient. Um, that's yep. what I want in life. Um, and there's my sales pitch. Um, hopefully, um, one of your viewers is making um, grips. Now, the, I um, ask, Ulanzi, I, 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 I do a bit of reviewing of Ulanzi stuff, and they have yes. a, they have a some program good stuff. where, yeah. absolutely, um, yeah. they make some crap stuff, but they make some really good stuff as well. Um, they they have a, a, I can't remember what it's called, but basically you send them ideas, and if they think it's a worthwhile venture, they'll make it. Oh, and oh. They, they pay you for it as well. So it's definitely worth what you're talking about here. I've actually sent them an idea about a, uh, a Bluetooth intervalometer for phones. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're running with that. Um, mainly so we can do a night Bluetooth with intervalometer. Seconds. Yeah. I, I want that. <laughs> I want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want that. Um, intervalometer. Yeah. I would love to have an intervalometer. I have an interval intervalometer on my Samsung phone because it comes as a a um, application for the Samsung phone. Have you played with that at all? The which one, sorry? The intervalometer on the Samsung. The app? The app. And yeah, what's yeah. that? Yeah. I don't have it in front of me, but it's it's very ingenious. It, it, oh, yeah. It we'll allows you to take multiple on, um, images. Yeah, what's that? We'll go through some photos soon. We'll go through some oh, photos okay. soon on, on the, uh, in the Facebook group. And there's a couple of guys in there who are just genius at using that app. Uh, oh. They do long long exposures, star trails, and all that sort of stuff with that yeah. intervalometer app because it has the intervalometer app, but it has these other sister apps that go next to it, like one star trails, one's motion or something like that, I think it's called, where yes. it yeah. basically stacks all these photos and turns it into a long exposure photo, just like you used to a long time ago with Photoshop. So it does it the same sort of way. Lots of people... I, I, what I'm neglecting here, mate, is answering all these questions. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got carried away with hardware. Um, how much time do we have, by the way? Oh, we go until we finish. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah. I was, I was afraid. Um, uh, what was Somebody I put you a, said? Intervalometers, phones. There you go. I'm ready. Um, uh, um, and everybody knows <laughs> they can find me at dr underscore brown, don't they? Did you tell them that? D yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I talk about you. I talk about okay. you a lot, probably too bloody much. Uh, when, when we talk about different things that you can do with um, this is different techniques and stuff, I'm like, go and look at this bloke. He, he's this, all over it when it comes to this. This is wonder. Stuff. This is wonderful. Oh no, <laughs> is this a good so, thing or a bad yeah. thing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I talk about the different comments that I get on my YouTube channel here a bit, and uh, because some of the stuff that I teach on the channel is it's not just walk up and push a button and do it. There's a little bit involved in it. And yes. so you've got to talk about how you set it up and how you plan for the stars to be where they are. And and one of the most common negative comments, and there's not a lot that I get, there's not a lot of negative comments. The bigger you grow, the more you get, I think it is. Um, and, and one of the most common negative comments is that I talk too much. 
So when I'm explaining stuff, I talk about it too much. So what Patrick is talking about here is that you can see that on your side, can't you? Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm reading yeah. this message. I, is is this is he? It's a slap in my face, or is this? Uh, yeah. No, nah, he's just taking the piss. He's, oh, uh, he's actually yeah. He's, he's, he's a good guy. He's a uh, he's actually been a guest on the channel as well on the show oh, as well. Okay. He, so he's um he's a um I think he uses a Huawei P30. He's a very good photographer. He um he's he's always when I first started. Um, with this channel and I was shooting with the iPhone and then I eventually got the Samsung and he was on my back the whole time. Get the Huawei, get the Huawei, get the Huawei. And I'm like, oh, I can't even okay. say that. I, I can't even remember is, how I used to pronounce it. He but, is, I, yeah. Okay, it's all coming to He is now following me and I think I told him that I couldn't say the word Huawei in public <laughs> because <laughs> I, I, Adobe... Um, Adobe has been asked to not support it or yeah. or in any way, yeah. um, which is unfortunate. It is really an amazing phone. The Huawei was so far ahead of its time. Won't you agree? Then yeah, it, absolutely. It was doing things years ago um, that were stunning stuff. You know, this long exposure, the strobe effects. You could throw. You could start. Open up the aperture, strobe something, and then get the motion blur combined with it. Yeah. God, God. yeah it's da, amazing. Da, da. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Amazing stuff. I think out but of it's... all the phones that exist, I would say that the Huawei camera system, this is just my opinion, mm. the Huawei camera system and the app for the camera, yes. in my opinion, is the best. There's so many things that it can do. Out I of the box without another I can't app. say that. I know you can't. I'm going to think it. I'm going to think it. I'm going to think it right now. Here it comes. There. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It was so, somebody was asking a question before. Yes. Oh, go uh, I did have it up there. I did have it up there, but I can't. Uh, so you're asking. So you're also YouTuber, Shane. So I shoot the, the, this camera that we're using here. Oh. That's something I didn't show you guys before. I've actually changed my YouTube studio here a little bit because yeah, I'm going because nice. I get I get sent so much stuff to review, um, oh. and I think um, the more things that I get here, I'll probably just unbox them in a live session as well, just really quickly. So I've done this. Look at that! It's amazing. I'm impressed. And I, we go back here. Oh, it's I, like I don't know. I next think level. Is your, is your studio audience impressed? <laughs> That, that would be, I, I don't know. Probably do not. That, could you <laughs> can you do that again? Because I'd like to see that. Wait, there was a fade in there. Oh, there doesn't have to be a fade. It could just be that, oh. but it could be a fade. You you have gone. You have, you've hit the big time. You've hit the big time. <laughs> I, I, I'm giving I'm giving up today. What yeah. I got? I've got trash behind me. I've got garbage, and and you can see into the bathroom back there. What sort of see, studio? For you, it's what's in here that matters. For me, I've got to do all these parlor tricks to do it. Yeah. I was impressed. Your studio. I'm close. I'm closing the door right here. <laughs> no, my studio looks better. Um. <laughs> so this okay. camera here is this a Sony ZV one. Look, look at the, the other auto one. Look at the autofocus. Oh, my. mate, it's oh, wait. crazy. Like when... mine does that too. Uh... <laughs> I, I can I can sit here when I've got a little bit of kit to show. I can go. I've got kit. this phone here to show you. How good's that? How good's that autofocus? It's just that's the reason. Yeah, that's cool. This this is it just works. a Logitech. I upgraded my my um, my uh, iMac to a Logitech. It seemed oh, yep. Um, yep. in the early time. Everybody seemed to be ordering one, this one, so I ordered it as well. Something. Well, beeping. I'm able to just take that off. That's you beeping, not me beeping. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, it's probably like yes. a California. Okay. Like um, what have we um, or something. Uh, <laughs> have we said anything important yet? Um, uh, oh, probably not. Uh, okay, it's not. Often uh, let's go I back do. to some of those questions. Let's see if they can, um, uh, if I can be embarrassed again, or uh, they're, they. Um, <laughs> so some people here see. were talking about. Uh, uh, that's Mike from Smartphone Photography. That's that's that program that I was talking about. <clears throat> yes. So if you if you were to get in contact with you, just go to Yulanzi's website. There's a link okay. there. 
to, to do this sort of stuff. I've, I've seen um, their stuff. I, I will send them. I've, I've created a, um, a sketch of the world's best okay. um, grip idea. Yep. And um, I'll show them my sketch and, and see if they like it. Because I'm trying to inspire somebody to create it. Oh, oh, I know what the question is. Do you think I represent one half of 1% of the iPhone users? <laughs> <laughs> am I, I, I think it's. Am I too I think advanced? it's changing. Am I, am I asking for no. to to toys? Um, yeah, what, what, uh, am I, am I so. more than one half of 1% of the iPhone Oh, yeah, users? you're more than that. Okay. I think, um, um, I think when I first started this channel and I started taking photos with my phone of the stars, I thought who on earth is going to watch that? Um, and the, the further down this rabbit hole I've gone um, with YouTube, especially they say to niche. And then once you've niched niche a bit harder, and then once you do that, if you can do it again, and that's pretty much what I've done. And I think that's why it's been successful. And when oh, you look at the numbers of people who are following what we do here, yeah. Uh, you're more than one half of one percent. Um, oh, good. It's yeah, definitely. Or maybe yeah. am I just in a group right now of all the people who are one half of one percent? <laughs> are we all clustered <laughs> together? Oh, but and wait, and who's um, um, uh, Dave down here in your question down below? How can so I see he was this talking... grip? This um, Yulandi. I don't know. Um, um, Yulandi can... called the cap grip. Ah, okay. I think that's very much like the um, the shift cam, except it does. I don't think it turns, but it's, it's, it looks similar. It's the same sort of concept, like oh, the okay. phone uh, slots into the. I'm, into the I'm intrigued. I'm I'm super intrigued, and I need to see it. Um, send me. Um, I'm R Brown at Adobe.com. Was that dangerous to just do that? I suppose. Um, <laughs> yeah, R Brown at Adobe.com. I work for Adobe. <laughs> Dave, send me a picture of that. I'd love to see it. Um, toys, toys, anything related to grips, send me a message, R. Brown. Um, that, that, that's your um, comment of the day right now, I think. Yeah. Should I go get my Doc Brown wig and put it on? Oh, go for I mean, it, mate. Yeah. Do we have an intermission time? Um, see, <laughs> Marty, Marty, <laughs> they may have plutonium back in 1955, <laughs> but there's no plutonium now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I knew we were going to go there at some point. <laughs> I said to, uh, the, I'll say my, to Sarah, I have, Sarah. I have the doc. I have the doc brown wig and the glasses. I, <laughs> no, yeah. well, well, I look, said to Sarah, yeah, oh, Russell Brown's coming um, on the show. Um, uh, yeah, so well, we're um, overlapping here. Oh, That's why it sounds like we're talking over each other. It's so, there's sorry, a delay. Sorry. When, when I was oh, telling Sarah, my wife, that that you were coming on the show, she's like. Isn't that the guy that had that really weird wig with the with that whipped cream? I'm like, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> that's the guy. Yes, the weird wig made of whipped cream. <laughs> um, yeah. That, look, we'll, we'll, we'll go and have a look at because we, we, we've been jibber jabbering for 45, almost 45 yes. minutes, and we haven't yes. really. Covered it. Okay. Let's, Sorry. Let's, let's go, have a look go, at. Um, Got to show them something. Let's show them something. Okay. What are we going to show? Absolutely. We'll show them. Do 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 do. These. Oh yes, and 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 um, uh, I'll, I'll get you to um, explain uh, what I, camera that was you. and how you did it. This is a place. It's called the Needle. It's an unusual um, formation in Utah. Well worth seeing um, if you're driving through um, in Utah, Central Utah, near. Um, uh, gosh, um, I forgot the name of the town. It's in central Utah and the needle, I drove out there just after a rainstorm and this volcanic soil puffs up to four times its actual size and can eat oh. cars. Just <laughs> it sucks tires in and uh, you can what, get like lost quicksand, you mean? like quicksand. Yeah, um, okay. And so I went out there, of course, directly after a, um, a heavy rains. And fortunately got out there and didn't get stuck. And I spent the night out there and then into the morning. So here's my trick. Well, tell me about this photo. Get ready for this. 
I'm going to reveal my secret. This photograph was taken in the daytime at noon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I, <laughs> and then you use your levels controls on this and you use the output controls to make daytime look like nighttime. It's a terrible trick. You move the output controls over and the output controls are on, on your level controls. And it takes all you should of explain that explain that more, mate. Yeah. Um should we show it? Show we'll, it. we'll show it. I, I can yeah. sh I can share my screen. And so I take so here's the problem with an with a mobile phone. We both know this. It the resolution at night is terrible. The detail mm -hmm. is lost, right? Mm -hmm. So I take a daytime photo. And I take a nighttime photo of the same situation and I turn the, the detail in the daytime. I, I'll demonstrate that in Photoshop. I tone it down and then you and then you put your light into it. And the light coming from the sky is not a drone. I could have put a drone into the sky and shot some light down onto the subject. But in this case, um. Um, it's just a, a layer in Photoshop. I think mm -hmm. I can open up this actual file um, and um, uh, we can show this and how the layer is placed in with a, uh, a screen blend mode. I think your audience will understand that you put a, a layer of, of this light beam and you screen it into your image and then it lights up. Mm -hmm. And then um, you take your stars at night um, and... I do like the application even longer. I was a little confused about even longer in the beginning. Um, we'll talk to that one, um, a fantastic uh, app. And even longer could be the best long exposure application on the iPhone. Did I just say that? Did I say that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so back to this, add the stars in the daytime. Is this cheating? Is this cheating? I is this cheating? I'm looking you in the eye, um, or is this creativity? I think it's creativity. I think um, with the, the 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 limitations that you have, I think you've got to with play to your strengths. Yes. So the limitations that exists on um, on phones, and and we all yes. know what they are. <clears throat> this is this is playing to the strengths of of that. It's yeah. Yeah, look, I, I think that most people would struggle to get that one image, even with. Uh, mirrorless, uh, like a, an A7 camera, like what's in focus there, and and everything's in focus. I think you struggle to get that with one shot, um, with a with a, a high end mirrorless camera. Anyway, but you're still going to go through the process in my head um, to achieve this the way that you have achieved this. And so I also have, um, you can see I, I'm in my own shot. I'm I'm in my shot, and I have my trigger, my Bluetooth trigger. These Bluetooth triggers can trigger this from several meters away. I mean, it's quite surprising. I, I just, I'm, ha I'm, I took the phone and put it on the tripod, and then I used the remote trigger to trigger the shot so that I can mm -hmm. be in my own photograph. Um, okay. And so, yeah, that one. Um, this is called my shoot daytime shots and shoot nighttime shots, and combine them together. And yep. we'll pull that up in. Photoshop, and we'll analyze that exact shot. How's that? You, yeah, we'll you, we'll do that in just a second. We'll have a look okay. at these other photos as well. No, yeah, let's go ahead. Um, Death Valley, an iPhone um, twelve. Um, early morning light coming into Death Valley. Put this on your list. There, um, the sand on either side of the model um, had footprints all over it. So I've gone in and removed ah. the footprints because yep. there's just too many people going out. There has to be a yep. really good sandstorm. You're probably familiar with um, – there's some nice sand dunes in Australia, right? If, and um, Oh, there are. No, nowhere yeah. near where I am, but I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, and so too many people were walking on these sand dunes, so I had to clean up the sand dunes. Um, and then I have this model um, uh, chase um, – in position and I'm pulling the fabric back over the, um, over the sand and uh, getting this beautiful morning light on it. Um, mm -hmm. 
I ain't, I, 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 I impressed myself with this <laughs> shot. It's, it's, um, and all I, the photos that you've sent me, I think that's that's my favorite one. That's that's just yeah, I've that's bloody amazing. Some, there's a famous photographer by the name of Greg Gorman here in um, mm -hmm. California. He photographs movie stars and really incredible photographer. It's yeah. the first time I got Greg Gorman. I caught his eye. I, and, he, oh. and, and he said, Russ, that's a good photo. I said, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, th th those are, those are special moments. I think, um, you know what? I think it's important to compliment people. I'm going to jump in and say, hmm. I, I like to take a moment each day and find a photographer on Instagram that I really like and tell them that you really like their work. Gosh, there's nothing yeah, as, as powerful as yeah. that. And they seem to think that it's coming from me, that it's special. <laughs> 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 Don't let that get around. So, uh, so yeah, that's just my words of wisdom to anybody. Yeah. Uh, tell people that you really love their photographs. Yeah. It's really helpful yeah. for the whole the yeah. learning process. Yeah, um, it's a funny thing on, on um, different um, Facebook groups with phone photography. I, I belong to some of them. Um, it, someone will put a photo there of something that they've done similar to what I do here on the channel, and I'll and yeah. I'll I'll comment on it and and, and say that's yeah, a great shot. I like what you've done there, or some some something like that. And the comments that I get, it's it blows me away every time. The first time it happened, I was like, what? Did they really just say that? It's like, oh my god, it's you! I can't believe that you responded to me. It's like, yeah. <laughs> just made someone's day by, by saying it's a great photo. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, but I get if what you're saying. Like, it, if, if that's the photo, power you, we have, let's use that power on a daily basis to make somebody's mm. day. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yep. I agree. Yeah. Let's have a look at the next one. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Um. So this is. And all this is a lake um, in California, um, the Sultan Sea, which is quite you know caustic, and fish can barely live in this water. Ooh. It's out in the desert, other side of um, of San Diego, California. And when the sun sets, it's the most gorgeous, beautiful light, and um, and you get a model who loves to dress up in outfits like this, this sort of um, ap apocalyptic sort of, you know, survivor outfit mm -hmm. and goes out there on this water and there's no wind. And then you get this gorgeous light. But I must admit, I looked at this photo and I said, boring, boring, boring. <laughs> so I added the, um, the, the uh, sparklers, the, the light paint. Oh. Um, and so, did you believe me? Did, was it a good enough job um, that? Um, so, so that you've you've added that you you actually didn't. This is not a, a, a on no. location sort of composite. You've added those sparklers in. I had I added the light painting oh, yeah. the sparklers um, <clears throat> to this shot. I've always I've always been impressed by people who can do this. Really pull this off, mm -hmm. and I know I'm sure half of your audience just switched off and left the show because they realized that I'm, I'm a total uh, fake. And, and <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think I'm a good fake. And I think, um, I think I, 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 getting the reflection just right and getting, putting this in. And again, um, I, where did I get the sparklers? Here's, an, did I take the sparklers myself? No, I am. Um, oh, that's it. Uh, that's it. Oh, you're, you're gone. Yeah. I went to a, a stock. I went to Adobe Stock, and I found the sparklers. Ah, yeah. and they were shot against a black background, and then you'd use the screen ah, function. Uh, yep. Um, um, that's uh, clever. And and put it in. Um, I think it adds to the shot. <laughs> was it? Was it? I it was so. not boring before this. It was a gorgeous. The colors. Um, hmm. And this was shot with, oh, here's my latest thing to promote. Um, I only shoot raw images. Now, raw images on the iPhone are extremely large, but the Apple Pro Raw in combination with Lightroom 
on the mm -hmm. iPhone is amazing. And I don't know, yeah. I want you to say something on that. Um, but um, the colors and the detail that I capture with raw images like this hmm. is absolutely stunning on an iPhone. But the file I, sizes I are I agree four with the colors. It's four yeah, times it's huge. the size. The file size is huge. Yeah. Huge. It, and I have the, the, the nighttime photography, the star photography with, yes. with Pro Raw versus yes. the, the high HEIC format or JPEG format. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's poles apart. It, yes. What you can pull out of a raw file, the Pro Raw file with a 30 second on a tripod nighttime star photo is, is just amazing. So I, I would definitely put it there with the Samsungs now. Um, I'll show you some photos shortly on the Facebook yeah. group. Somebody yeah. put a, they actually went out and did some testing. I think they took a photo, a stacked image. It was, 15 or something, 10 second images and stacked it uh, of the night sky with the Samsung and then yeah. took a one 30 second photo with the iPhone. Yes. And to me, one looked like the iPhone was the raw version of the JPEG version. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah. Uh, it, it was just, it's like you, you look at that and you go, iPhone has come just so far with low light photography and computational stuff in the last just couple of years. It's it's amazing. Um, I think the Pro Raw has added. It's been a game changer yeah, for iPhone. Game changer. Yeah. Now I have the ability to get one terabyte of storage. Okay, I work for Adobe. <laughs> I've got one terabyte of storage on my Creative Cloud. Mm -hmm. You know, not everybody can do that, and um, yeah, it, it's not that expensive. Um, but um, yeah, so my one terabyte. No, I'm sorry. I lied. I have the two terabyte plan. <laughs> I was going to say, surely, you, surely you've got over a terabyte. Surely I'm worse than that. I, I have the two terabyte plan, and um, I'm filling it up fast. Um, that's a yeah. question. I got a question for you. Do you save every photograph you take? No. Okay. No. Definitely. You dump. You, uh, you dump them. No. Before they go into Lightroom, you're you're a Lightroom yeah. uh, mobile user. I'm, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't, I definitely don't keep mm. all photos. I'll, I'll, I'll look at them. I'm pretty ruthless when it comes to that. I think ah. if it's going to bring benefit later, I'll keep it. Uh, it, if it, if it's a cracker photo, I'm just going to keep it. But if I think I'm going to be able to use something later, um, I'll, I'll keep it. But other than that, no, it gets dumped. I keep all of the commercial stuff that I do, obviously, all, all the weddings and that sort of stuff, just for, for backups for people. But, um, purely from a commercial point of view, but mm. other than that, I don't. I, I'm pretty ruthless when it comes to culling out photos. I'm the worst. I'll take a if I take <laughs> a picture terrible. of if I took I took a <laughs> photograph of my foot by mistake. I keep it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are the California audience? Um, somebody's writing into me and says, "What does cracker mean?" When you use the word, what? that's that photo's cracker. You, you said it's a it cracker. That's a cracker. Oh, it, that's a cracker. It's it's a good photo. A cracker is. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Here, okay. here you'd say, uh, well, well, it's a cracker of a photo. It's it's a. It's a cracker. It's a ripper. It's it's a it's a great oh, photo. Oh, that's okay. I, yeah. I want you to keep on putting that in there. I, I'm trying to. Tra I'm retraining the California audience for. Uh... <laughs> oh, I see. Um, it's it's uh, a funny thing. It's uh, I, I had uh, I can't tell you too much about, it, but I had somebody contact me a little while ago um about a, a project and um it, it was it's for it's for television and they they oh. said to me you're, you're the steve Irwin of photography <laughs> <laughs> is Come that on. a good thing or a bad thing well i wasn't sure <laughs> you could have been the crocodile so, dundee of photography uh, would you take well, that then i'd be talking about then i'll be talking about putting shrimps on the barbie and stuff wouldn't i <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so movie, movie, fellow, movie, uh, okay, moving on. This comment okay. here about the uh, so this oh, honor, what, uh, what, what an honor. So oh that, that's Who's Mario. That's oh, the creator of, uh, of even longer. Of even longer. He and I yeah. need to chat. I need to have a chat with Mario. Did you say? Yes. Um, I need to understand the application better, because um, I got confused, uh, Mario, in the beginning. I thought I had to change the exposure. And so I was going in and trying to adjust the exposure. It's all automatic. It's yeah. all automatic. And I was working too hard in the beginning, thinking that it was 
I made it more complicated than it really is. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> Who would have thought so, you worked for Adobe and you're trying to yeah, make things more complicated? Yeah, me. Um, but it is, <laughs> it is great. You just point and shoot. Don't get, yeah. don't, I, I don't know what I was trying to do. But I, I got lost. Okay, moving. Uh, yeah, good to. Um, we will. I will I chat think, with um, Mario. I think with phone photography, and I've always said this, with with phone photography, it's got to be simple and effective. And if it's not simple yes. and effective, why would you use it? That's the whole Let's... my whole mentality around phone photography. It's got to be simple. If it's not Let's... simple, go and buy a bloody camera. Let's go down this path for a moment. What application do you use? on the iPhone for your photography now? Because this is right along that lines and I have my answer, I wanna hear yours first. What is your go-to? I use the camera app. Use the camera Yeah. Why do we uh, use the it, camera it, 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 There are so many apps around. Yes. Um, yes. And I, I think there's a, there's a fellow, David Addison on, on YouTube. He's been a, a guest on here. Lots of the viewers here know who I'm talking about. And he reviews um, camera apps, and he reviews them pretty full on and harshly, oh. which which is which is like he, he picks the <laughs> Greg McMillan will like my say like and me saying this. Tell me, tell, tell me his pepper. name again. Tell me his name again. I want, da I want David Addison. Addison, I'm, I'm writing yeah. this down. It's that sure. important. And, and he um, he really goes into depth, uh, really really deep diving into different photography apps. Mm. Um, it, for for a, a phone, uh, a photography app for me, it's if it doesn't do everything, I'm not going to use it all the time. But if I found an app that does all the stuff I want to do that the native camera app can do, see all, all these other apps they don't let you shoot thirty seconds like mm -hmm. the night mode on a, on a phone on on the camera app. So if it doesn't do that, I'm not that interested. If I can't do something like, like what Mario does with even longer, that's just phenomenal. And yeah. for anything long exposure, I'm going to go to that. But I, I've done videos where I've got out and I've taken photos with like ProCam and Halide and all that sort of stuff. And they all have their benefits. And some people like to use full manual controls on their phone. Well, that's great. Um, that's just not me. Um, personally, I like to be able to go, that's cool. Bam, take a photo. I'd much rather, like I said uh, earlier, I shoot with the intent. Um, and for me, it's, I know what I can do with this later on. So I just make sure that I capture it properly. And when it comes to the iPhone, well, the camera app just does it. So why, why do something different? Um, there are definitely Bing. apps around <laughs> that can do things a bit better. Um, there's, yeah. there's been pretty rare occasions where I go, I can't achieve this with this app. But I don't think at this stage there is one app that does everything, like the long exposure stuff. Even the, the camera app doesn't do it. But I like doing long exposure stuff. Um, so if you had one app that did everything, well, that would be yes. pretty that bloody be impressive. Yeah. 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 I agree. I, you, I'm completely in harmony with you on this one. I just wanted to hear you say the exact words I would have said. You said them earlier. I should simplicity. have said it with more of an Aussie accent and throw a few more bloodies yeah. and crackers in there. <laughs> you should. Have. Are, are you toning down? Are you toning down a little just because uh, I'm here? Because I, my Aussie friends shift gear when I go drinking with them. We're wandering through downtown. We're in Sydney, uh, Sydney Harbour, and we're doing bar hopping through Sydney Harbour. You ever done this? <laughs> It's oh, dangerous. Yeah. For, I was, it's when, dangerous when I was in the army, light. I was in Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's dangerous for a, an, a lightweight like myself. We you walk <laughs> along the harbor from from pub to pub, and then you you'd have your pint, and um, eventually you can't walk from pub to pub anymore. Yeah, yeah. But then they changed. If I wasn't in the conversation, they yep. switched gear and spoke <laughs> thick. Aussie. I don't know how we got off on this conversation, but and I'm going, what? The? <laughs> and then they come into the, and then they shift back. You have have you ever noticed yourself doing this? Yeah, definitely. It's you, yeah, yeah. You, you play to your audience to yeah. to, to, to an extent. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Let's, okay, that was yeah. a segue back. All, I just all had the to different, say that. And uh, all the different I, careers that I've had. So I've been army. I've been. I've worked for for Xerox and um, printer oh. companies for. 
15 years or something in like operations. I used to be a technician fixing these things. Um, but Fixing what? The, like printers and um, wow. um, photocopiers and that sort of stuff. I did that for a little while, but uh, most of my time in that industry was in uh, service operations, operational management, uh, like um, just learning how to make money from service, basically. But in that in those roles... Uh, and now, now I work on farms, so I don't really need to talk to anybody that's not on my level, sort of thing. But over the history, I've I've dealt with, you know, um, I've been. You speak to like brigadiers, and you speak to CEOs of of, yes. of big companies, and you need to adjust the way that you talk to these people. Um, or you speak if to your I was sitting here drinking, yeah, in, exactly in pubs, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the the, the um. I was talking to someone um, um, yesterday on on he's actually a member of this of this community here, and he was he was saying something about um, what, what had he said it with it was like thank you for your service because uh, he, two days ago was Remembrance Day here so that's like the signing of the armistice and so forth uh-huh. it's a it's a it's a it's almost it's not quite like Veterans Day in the US Just uh, we have Veterans Anzac Day, Day for that um, yeah. it's it's a different thing it's it's like maybe a Memorial Day or something like that I'm, I'm not quite sure how it lines up with what you guys are in the States, but he said to me, I oh, thank you for your service. And I'm like, that's such an American thing to say. It's, it's, ah. we just don't say that sort of thing here. Ah. Um, if I get, if I go and hang out with my veteran mates, trust me, we talk very different <laughs> to what you and I are talking now. <laughs> I, I love listening in on that. Okay. But back to our, oh, back, you to our wouldn't. <laughs> back to our story. What, what image do we have next before I, um, and then I, oh, cause I have to, I just um, took it off. That one. Uh, and we all know that uh, Russ cheats. Um, and um, <laughs> but I think when uh, you when you look at this photo and you go, um, uh, it, it, it's it's a cool photo. Mm. I think that by, by putting something in that wasn't there, yes, adds to this photo. If it yes. if it's detracted from this photo, then you'd say, well, that was just stupid. It was a waste of bloody time. But because it's added to this, I think that's. There's something in that. Um, then does, does there that make is, sense? Th- yeah. There's a that shows that there's a talent for knowing when to put something into a photo. When does a photo need something yeah. more than it has? And yeah. um, uh, I did a talk once, a presentation called "Add a Bird" was the title of my presentation, and the premise was right. that ah, yep, if you add. So, sometimes photos need something and yes. i went through a whole sequence it's a funny talk i show them a photograph of the um eiffel tower and add a bird to the sky or add a yep. jet or or add a sunbeam you know i would add these certain things to the photograph um and and the truth was i ran a test and you know what, what's my test how many people will like it with the bird or without the bird <laughs> on Instagram? And they like it with the bird. <laughs> and so yeah. if you want, so the the moral of the story was if you want to get more likes, add a bird to your image. <laughs> I, I think in that it, it's because there's something now living in the photo. Yeah. That that's how I how that's... I think of it. So I was just looking through some of my photos here on um my, my Facebook thing, because I've got exactly what you're talking about, but I'm not sure if it's on here. I have to go digging around for the photo. Um, but it, in the photo that I'm talking about, there was, I took this photo of the sunrise and there was just this one tree. I think it was just the one tree. Uh, I don't know if I've got it here or not. Um, but I look, no, I don't. Damn it. Um, but there, there was just this wonderful orange glow in the sky and this yes. one tree sitting on the third, the horizon was on the other third. It was just wonderfully composed. I thought it's a big bucket load of negative space there. I want yeah. something in there. And I added a heap of birds and it, and it just made the photo so much better because there was something living in it. I you think know what's you, better than one up, bird? Two birds. <laughs> well, oh no, I had like a V of birds going out. Like flying <laughs> through this it was like a squadron. <laughs> it, it's um, it's a, it's directly proportional. The number of birds is directly proportional to the number of likes. In the <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, you chase likes on on Instagram. 
That's that, Russell. Do you post photographs because you are looking for likes, or do you post photographs because you like the photo? I refuse to answer this question. Oh, <laughs> um, I, I'm I am addicted to likes. I I, I I must admit it. I just have to admit it publicly that they, I, I did a um. A, a trip to New Zealand, a photography trip to New Zealand. Yes. Uh, probably three years ago, maybe four years ago. And um, it was a, an organized trip with a, a photographer that uh, it turned out that, see, I thought we were going there to do, it was certainly marketed along the lines of go, go and learn some long exposure photography. Ah. And I got there and, and, and I worked out reasonably quickly. I probably know a bit more than you about this sort of stuff. So it was, it was good that, he knew he had the local knowledge, so we went to some spectacular places to take these oh. sorts of photos. And, and I got some amazing photos. And anyway, part of the package it was like a I don't know, maybe a week long sort of trip. But part of the package was all all expenses paid, like, like you, like you oh. paid for it and it covered everything. And and um, um, we went out to a meal one night, and and he took this photo that day and he put it on Instagram. And he was constantly like at dinner, he was like watching his phone when he put this thing on there. So and he's like looking at his watch. Oh, it's been 10 minutes and I haven't got 300 likes yet. Delete. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I couldn't get my head around that. It's a good photo. Leave it there. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I, this is another, I have to admit, I have to admit, I only got 50 likes on a photo once and I deleted it. I deleted it. It's, <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it time for, do I need professional help? You need an intervention. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, switch the photo. Switch the photo. What, what else do you have here to show? That's it. Um, we got all. That's three. it. Okay, good. Because I'm I'm ready to share my screen. I'm, Go shall for we it. Shall we attempt this? Do I yep. hit the share button? Share yeah. screen. You're the you're the first okay. guest that I've had on here that's going to share their screen. Okay. So I'm not Don't sure how it's going to work. Show these <laughs> tips again. Screen sharing. Share screen. Okay. Uh, share entire screen i just want to share photoshop um wait a minute i have to open up my preferences i've never done this before and i have to sure. al allow access so you uh, go ahead talk among yourselves while i so try obviously and... russell hasn't been in you stream yard before where we no, um where, where we were we were, we were starting this and the people who are in the chat here that I can see who has been on the show before, you know, that I start this, I, I open up the stream like privately for like 15 minutes or so beforehand. So we can catch up and have a chat. And, yeah. and Russell sent me an email yesterday saying, yeah, hey, it'll be like 10 45 or 11 45. I can't remember now. Um, and anyway, I was sitting there, it was like 10 minutes to go. I'm like, he's not here. Something's wrong. <laughs> and I, I quickly Googled what time it was over where he is and it was like oh we're out by an hour so we're we would have done this beforehand um we're kind of a little bit unprepared you just have to wait um, guys i'm getting back it says chrome has lost permission to capture your screen do you have to allow me to share a screen i don't need to allow you from this end um i see you know what it says i have to do let me come back to Streamyard. It says that I would have to, I've given permission to share my screen, but unfortunately I would have to leave the chat and come back. Would we like to do that or is that dangerous? Um, uh, I'm not sure. I think, um, I don't know if you I just have to chat, quit. I have to quit Chrome, start Chrome oh. again, and then it will let me share my screen. What do you think? No, oh, that's up to you, mate. We, I'm happy to do that if you want to. If it's time. broken, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I do want, I, we have to ask your audience, do the audience, do they want to see this in Photoshop? I, they probably do, don't they? Do, do you guys want to see a, like a screen capture, like watch Russell, can, like, Russell. Do, yes. do some tech, show do, some techniques? Fiddling and... around in Photoshop. I want to show them how I do the um, day for night stuff. Um, that's got to find so I'd have to find, let me make sure. Um, let's close Greg McMillan, that. do it. Do it. Okay. So here I'm copying the stream. Okay. I'm going to leave the room. I'm going to be back. I'm quitting 
now. I'll see you. Here we go. This could fail. It's been nice knowing you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Uh, it looks like everybody wants to happen. Go, go break. What, what a hilarious guest. This is great. Absolutely great. One of the best comments I've seen this morning so far is, uh, who was it? Patrika, I think it was, saying that people say, oh, I talk too much. <laughs> what, a, what an entertaining guest to have on. He's back. Good. Am I back? Am I really back? You are. You're back. Okay, let's see. Let's share. This won't work. Let's share screen. Click on the screen. Share. Okay. Ooh. Did something happen? Do you Way, see my Here we go. Do you see Photoshop? Yeah. Oh, you do? Wow. I see your whole screen. So if you maximized Photoshop, well, yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Okay. This goes back over the clips. What's this doing here? Go away. Okay. Um, here it is. I haven't done this demo. Oh, all I can do is run into trouble. I am now going to turn off. I see these three layers. These layers are off. Oh, ooh, this is terrible. So let's let's go through and dissect this. So we're we still see that one's up at the top. Okay, so here is the daytime photo. Are you still there? Yes. Okay. I've good. just um I've just minimized the screen of you and I so that everybody can oh, see okay. Photoshop. It just better. got confusing. Yeah. I'm looking at I'm talking to myself. Uh, and um, I think this is what they want to see. This is what I'd want to see. Um, so here's the daytime noon photo. The sun is almost directly down. There are very few shadows. It works well. Yep. Here's the second layer. Um, this is the layer um, where I discussed shading it back to night. Let's analyze what Russ is doing to make a daytime photo into nighttime to start your process. Mm -hmm. You go into your levels controls, if you can see those here. And this is the output control here. Don't touch uh, these guys, which go through and you drop the white values down until it becomes nighttime, like this. Yep. It takes, you've got all of the quality and all of the detail of the daytime shot, but um, uh, you're making it look uh, darker and look like night. So that's yes. a very, you know, it's sort of straightforward trick. And then here's what you do. You can then drill through that. And if here we can see, I'm starting to light up the subject so that yes. I can add daytime to nighttime. And then I do a little hue and saturation adjustment to drop down the, the overall uh, saturation because you wouldn't have yes. as saturated colors um, happening at night, right? Yeah, correct. Then you shade your foreground because it's too light in the foreground. Then mm -hmm. you go in and add the evening sky um, that you took at the same place. And um, notice here's the actual sky and then a mask I'm using around it. Yep. So you've added in the stars to the daytime. So we have um, here's daytime and nighttime. This is this yes. is really this is sick. This is sick. Then, then you go, <laughs> then you go. The horizon is never. There's always more light pollution on the horizon. Yes. So you got to go in and add a little bit of glow, and you got to add something's happening on the horizon. The stars should never come down to the horizon. You and I know from yep. experience that there's city glow or, or the atmospheric glow is happening there. And then finally, um, um, the light from space. Let's take a look at this. Um, this um, so this is what this is what this layer looks like. Um, it's just a black. <laughs> um, uh, black with the um, the light beams coming down, and Beam. you can yep. gosh, you can buy these light beams and different applicate different suppliers come up with different ways of adding yeah. these in, and then you set to a screen mode here. Yes. So we go back in, and then you start to add all of these together again. 
and uh, yeah, uh, this is really that this is really crazy. And then <laughs> you, here, let's go even farther. Then you do some light what? painting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I did not post. Remember, add a bird. Uh, I, I thought. No, oh. <laughs> I, 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 that, so I did do this light painting at that position. I'm doing uh, some light painting over time and added that in. What else have I got here that I've added in? These are things that didn't get added to the scene. Oh, look oh, at that. See. Okay. See, this is going too far. What do you think? That's gone too far. Oh, uh, that, yeah, that's a bit too far. Looks like <laughs> it's coming out of far. Pixar Studios now. Yeah. So you go, what? You go, Oh, Russ, I really like this shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you don't get it. You, you got you to gotta go all the way. So there's the, there's the shot, um, uh, in, insane yeah. shot. So just the moral of the story is turn daytime into nighttime by moving this slider right here. Yeah, um, yeah. And it's a simple thing. And when you're shooting with a phone and you want to have that, really nice clarity that you don't get with a night photo this is that's it that's it that, that's yeah the, that's the trick um it's very cool and so let's very um, cool close that let's that see if that, that since we're since we're in here is there anything else that um, it's dangerous to show um, <laughs> um just thinking oh let's this is really terrible i have to show you the post that i did today are you ready I, I would. I want to know how many criminals, how many people, um, they're going to think I'm Ooh. a total criminal. But I just have to show you this criminal shot that I came up with. I had a friend traveling through Amsterdam and um, Holland um, just recently, yes. and he was taking some amazing photos. And I was thinking, boy, wouldn't it be nice to go to Holland and get a nighttime photo in Holland? And so, um, but I didn't go to Holland in the nighttime, and I there were skies weren't that clear at night so I'll here we go so. Boom. <laughs> um, it's a daytime shot and let's just go through each layer um drop in the sky um, i did a sky replacement uh, on the sky yep. here's the um the adjustments we saw earlier with the levels control what did and you do so you, with the windows there ah so the windows, you do a, um, you can adjust how much light is coming through the window uh, by putting a little mask on the window. On the right window. there, you uh, see that? Yep. Sure. Yep. And then you turn on the you turn on the lights, and then um, you also um, let's revert back. You have to turn on the lights in the city as well over here in oh. the town because you want to go in let's see what those are doing got to remember see how you you just drop little lights can you see those yeah zoom in yep so you just um drop in some lights and then you um you also go in and what did i do you turn off the lights turn off all the lights in the building i um once you set up the values you set up the 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 shading for night you always have yep. the daytime. You can paint daytime into the nighttime. Does that make sense? Yeah. It does. Because yep. Yep. you have this beautiful detail and um, from the daytime that you can just go through the masks and reveal it uh, coming through. Uh, I mm -hmm. don't think I've ever, um, I don't think I've ever shown people the behind the scenes. I'm turning into a criminal on your show. I, I think I think <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, switch back. Stop sharing. Okay, we're back. We're back. I, I think um, no. I think no, no, let's, let's see what I want to be... see what people comment. Um, is is Russell Brown a criminal? Um, is the question. Why, <laughs> why, why do this? Um, um, wait, wait, wait. Over here in Holland, somebody here's calling in from Holland. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Um, why do this? 
why do well, this? Personally, I think yeah. it, doing this sort of thing with this sort of image, it demonstrates what that software can do. It's not like, yes. like just to put that back there, it's not like <clears throat> it's not like you're having that sort of an image on the front cover of the um, the 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 tourism guide for Holland. It's yes. not a real thing. It's just showing what this software can do. It's not saying, and well, it was obviously pretty clear there that you didn't take that photo, but but to be able to show those techniques, so to put it into perspective yeah. of what we can do with our phones, you can go out there uh, and take the sort of photos that we're taking at night time with this phone, take it during the day, hang around till night time, take the other photo, take the second photo, that night time photo with your phone, and bring them together. It's it's yes. really bringing both of those aspects of time into the one photo and you're going to end up with more like what the eye can see at night time with the foreground at least than what the phone can see at night time so i think bringing those sorts of techniques together that just demonstrates it what what you did with the windmill those, just demonstrates what you can do yeah all of the components were from a phone so yeah right. I, those stars were from the google pixel 4 we both could recognize those you can yep. only get those stars with a Google Pixel 4, that four minute exposure yep. and combined with a foreground shot in the daytime. Um, Have you seen what that can do yet? The six? It can yes. do just like the 4K. <laughs> um, I, I went to the store to look at the Google Pixel 6 and I did not get it because I thought the Samsung was doing better than the Google Pixel 6. What? Let's get a review on the Google Pixel 6 right now. What is your impression? Um, I think I I've think got everything that I need uh, in the uh, iPhone uh, and the Samsung. Sell me off of this. I think I wouldn't sell you off it. It's. Um, oh. I think that, and I've said this so many times before, like, and you started with it, we live in a time now where we're pretty bloody lucky about what people yes. are bringing out, whether it's that or that. It doesn't matter. Like the, the Samsung takes a bloody great photo, the but it does it in thirty seconds. Whereas this will take, arguably, a little little bit better photo because of the lack of noise. Um, but it takes four minutes. But you can also deal with the noise from the Samsung when you edit it. So I don't know. In my head, I think you're all. It, it just comes down to the user at the end of the day. If you're somebody who is inclined to edit your photos you probably wouldn't go with the Pixel because it does all that editing for you, the way that the computational yeah. photography works in that. The iPhone, I think the iPhone is just getting better and better and better. But to be honest, I haven't, the Samsung, I've not taken a nighttime photo with that for 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 a while. I'll wow. go out um, and do a comparison video of that with the 13 Pro Max shortly. I'm just waiting for the sky to clear. Um, and... I'll probably just move that phone on then. I don't think, for me personally, I don't think there's a lot to be gained with the nighttime photography when I compare the two. Uh, I've got the foreground with the iPhone is just ridiculous. I think it's for nighttime photography when you're light painting a foreground subject with stars in the background. I don't think any of them come close to what the iPhone does now. I think it's just, it's really, really impressive. So when it comes to, the pixel. I just think it's the the user at the end of the day who's going to choose that. It's one of the most common questions I get asked: What phone should I buy? This one, this one, or this one? It just depends on you. They all do a bloody good job. It just depends on you. Um. Yeah. Did we decide? No, I am not a criminal. I am not a criminal. I've ah. decided it. I, I decided. <clears throat> Looking I'm at this other, I'm a creative professional, and I shouldn't apologize for my art. This is art. Oh, see, I, I actually thought we were having a shot at you for, for putting those photos together, but no, it was about the windmill. That's all that happens in, in Holland is windmills. No, Isn't that I, all yeah. that's there? Is, 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 the San Francisco, is the Golden Gate Bridge the only thing that happens in San Francisco? No. <laughs> but um, you got Alcatraz too, don't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's all. He, the, the, and those the, hills. It, it is true. <laughs> I love Holland for everything that makes up Holland. From a photography point of view, there's nothing quite as unique and special as a windmill against the sky. Come on. Yeah. Come on. It's, yeah. it's, and I can't get it every day, so it's attractive to me. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. What? And I must point out that I must be at least 
one quarter um, Dutch myself. Um, Which I, quarter? I, one quarter. I must be. I am a relative of the Knickerbockers who came to New York from <laughs> Holland. Uh, I I am a Knickerbocker. A new, uh, 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 unbelievable. <laughs> um, southern um, Southern uh, um, Holland is where my uh, relatives are from. So hey. Okay. Okay. There. Does that make it better? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, going to no, uh, make it better. pull this over go, go, here. Go ahead. And, um, should we? Uh, we'll uh, we'll call. We'll, we should call a limit to this. Uh, should we end in fifteen minutes? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'll. I'll, uh, I'll just, the last thing I wanted to do was just go through some photos on um, our Facebook group, so that you okay. can see them. Okay. Thanks. Do, uh, do I have to like these or not like these or? Um... <laughs> you can just give any feedback that you want. We'll just pick like oh. three or four, maybe five. Okay, um, I like this. I think I uh, like this. Oh, we're at nine hundred and ninety-five. I just realised we need five more people. This has only been going for a few months. I think it's um, nine hundred and ninety-five. Have I said anything? In wow, wow, is that a normal number, or, or it's reduced because I'm on the show? <laughs> no, no, no. This is nine hundred and ninety-five in the Facebook, uh, the Facebook group. Oh, which oh, oh, I thought you had 995 viewers right now. Good grief. No. No, no. I, I, I only get um, I, we only get the big numbers in the live streams when I'm giving something away. <laughs> All the people who are watching this right now are hardcore photographers. Okay. They're the ones who are like looking They're, in looking with great interest to. about what you're doing. Uh, okay. I yeah. did I did educate today and I did have a little humor today. So I've got those off my list, but uh, bloody legends. I'd like to see some bloody legends. Uh, these bloody are people legends. in, these are, yeah. the, these are people in your group uh, who are taking pictures and um, we're going to talk about their work. I, I love it. Yes, I love it. It. exactly that. Now look at that. I, I knew this was in here somewhere. I just wanted to show that one first. <laughs> Unbelievable. I just um... hate it when people take pictures of windmills in Holland, is that all that exists? <laughs> this, is, this is actually pretty good. Um, this person yeah. has lit well, up. I was only showing that one there because we we're talking oh, okay, about yeah. windmills. Yeah, I'll just scroll down. There's, there's one here I, I want to show back. you. I'd like to go back uh, to Holland more and shoot a windmill at night um, with lights on it. Yeah. Show me something. Um, uh, I, I see some people shooting with of, um, shooting long exposures of um, the Milky Way. Mm -hmm. So for the most part, uh, we, we get long exposure photos. So they're either long exposures of the night sky or they're um, uh, uh, long exposures during the day. Um, my internet's what, uh, out a little bit. So silky water, as as the Huawei said yeah. it 10 years ago, silky water. Um, yeah. And, um, That's, um, that looks like the Harbour what's, Bridge in um, what's, It is the Harbour Bridge in Sydney. Let me guess. This is a... Is this an iPhone shot? What, what, um, um, even longer. No. So yes. Oh, yep, it's okay. An shot. Um, I, I passed that test. Um, e even longer. Excellent. Um, mm. The thing with even longer I like is that the other long exposure um, apps that are out there, um, they give you this Morse code look when you're looking at start when yes. you're looking at light trails from cars. And even longer, it's it doesn't do that. It does it really, really well. Really, is impressive. it okay to make? Can I make an editing comment to this person? Will they? Of course, you can. Yeah, I think this needs a little bit of levels. I would mm -hmm. bump this with a sh the blacks. Give me a snappy black and give me a snappy white. The white yep. isn't white enough, and uh, mm -hmm. um. I would just bump this a little bit with levels um, to um, really kick this off um, and make this a little bit better. Oh, mm -hmm. Russell Brown is criticizing my images. Ah. <laughs> I, I think anybody who would be list, listening to what you have to say right now would be um, taking it on board, mate. It's yeah, just, it's a it's a snappy. it's a very good community that we have here. Um, uh, click click they, on, uh, on click on that. Um, oh, that is this even longer as well. Yeah, this will be even longer for sure. There's yeah. a there's a bit of a magenta cast across 
some of that, and he's working on that at the moment. Um, as iPhones change um, their firmware, their software, it affects different things, obviously, and um, we've seen some magenta starting to creep um, into some of it, and he's, he's working on it at the moment. Uh, you can certainly in, fix it with the edit, obviously. In, in Lightroom, um, I would go into Lightroom and I would target colors in Lightroom. I really love the ability to go into the purples and yep. uh, tone those down, boom, in Lightroom under um, yeah. the color uh, color adjustments. Um, yeah. It, it's No masks are necessary. You just target the purple shades and slide that slider yep. down and you're done on, on that one. I think that would, unless they wanted a purple cast, but again, I'm the guy that, God, give me a solid black, give me a solid white. Yep. Uh, I'm a happy camper. I, I'd like to see you this one of reflections. This, didn't you? Oh, I thought that's what you wanted to see because I thought, here he goes. He no, wants to dress no, himself up like uh, this. This is oh, I'm the, <laughs> this guy. I like. The, I want to photograph this fellow. Has he run some filters on this to make it look more like a painting? Uh, possibly. I saw uh, a photograph. A fil yeah. I yeah, want to yeah, know yeah, this yeah. guy. I want to know this guy. Um, because this um these are these are fantastic. This person is um taking the photographs and then giving them that Rembrandt look yeah. and doing a very good job of it. Um mm. uh it says this filter because look old and um, yeah. Rembrandt, Rembrandt, there's Rembrandt, right? In <laughs> That's right. Okay, I win a prize. I win a prize. I just, just want to say there's a prize. Yeah, uh, yeah, there is a prize. Which one did you, you want to say? You should have told me earlier. I would have come up with a surprise with a prize, and then we could have gotten more viewers. Um, <laughs> what if I just oh, gave away? That. What would happen if I just gave away a prize? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Stay, <laughs> stay in control, Russ. Stay in control. I want to know: Did this person, if the person's watching, um, did they add the purple? Um, spot because oh. this looks like it's been taken with a professional camera because I cannot achieve those purples and those blues in um with my Samsung or my iPhone. Um, I, I want to know yeah, if this they're, would be, I want to know if dark they're a criminal spot, I think. like I am. No, no, this is to me that's a one shot photo, I, I would say. What, what I, was I'll it get those purples and blues coming into some photos. Absolutely. Yeah. This would this to me, I think that's the Olgas. I might be no, it's probably not actually. That's uh what's it called? I think this is Australia. I'm almost certain that's Western Australia and I can't think of what it's bloody called. It looks like group of photos. I would say this is the same person. It is the same person, because that's definitely Australia. What are they the shooting things. this with? What's Luke? I'm shooting uh, with the only downside about going through the photos like this is that I can't see what what uh I, I'm what suspicious that Luke is shooting with something iPhone DSLR. 13 Pro. iPhone what 13 the? Pro. Yeah, Go, I believe that. I uh, 13 Pro. Yep. Is I he online? That. Is Luke listening right now? Oh, probably not. He'd be saying something, I'd say. Yeah. I, I believe that. I'm I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm I'm getting just, that sort of work out of a 13. Gosh, I'm not getting those beautiful purples. Um, I'm just curious how he's pulling that off. Um, I have not been out to the Outback with the 13 recently. I've, my most recent stuff has been shooting with the 12, so I don't know yep. that I, I'm, I need to get out and about. The Milky Way is the going down. The 13 is definitely better. The 13 is okay. definitely better than the 12. Yeah, um, the, the Milky Way how does this work the milky way is going down here in california setting Same about way. um midnight what's it happening down under uh this so we get it horizontally you can see the core this is not the core this is the tail of the core so yeah. the core in this photo here would be behind the rock so this okay. to me would be early in the morning uh, i can go out and see that about three or four o'clock in the morning is where i would see this sort of photo Okay. Um, yeah, it, it, at about uh, just before sunset or just after sunset, you'll get right now, you've probably got about 20, 30 minutes of the galactic core sitting horizontally it's before right. it dips. Yeah. Yeah. At um, between 10 and midnight here in California, the core is setting. It's vertical. 
Okay. But yep. setting quickly, it's we're moving out of the Milky Way season. Um, yeah, exactly. Qu- pretty quickly yeah. right now. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. It's a, it's something that uh, another question that I get asked a lot here is how do I find this? And it's just depends on um, where you are in the world I'm, as to how um, it sits. <clears throat> I I I use um uh the photographer's ephemeris. I think a lot mm-hmm. of others. I, I may. Which one do you use? For tracking, I use photo pills. Photo pills, yeah. There's two yeah. different camps, I suppose. Um, yeah, they I, do, I they came do across roughly the same thing. Yeah, I got you, so you used to the, ephem- the, yeah. the photographer's ephemeris. I know how it works. I know how to use it. It's yeah. like, hey, it's sort yeah. of like driving on the left hand of the road, left hand side of the road. Who would do that? <laughs> well, you, there's two ways to look at that. You drive on the correct side of the road or the wrong side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The, the last time I was over over there, I, I hired a car and, and I drove from oh, uh, no. somewhere in, oh, where yeah. was it? In Michigan somewhere to to uh, Appleton in Wisconsin. Oh, no. And it, it was, yeah, it was, it was fine driving along the freeways. That's Because right. everyone was doing the same thing. Cool. And then you plot to an intersection, and I'd, I'd, I would automatically just look to the right, and I go, "Oh, hold on, no, no you got to look this way." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Something's clear. laughs> that reminds that was, me. I was driving in, on in the wrong stuff, yeah. side of the road in Singapore, and got caught uh-huh. in one of the roundabouts. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I freaked out. I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I was trapped. I was trapped. Okay. What was um, that uh, National Lampoon's Vacation in? Uh, Around the Arc de Triomphe in, in France, in Paris. Oh, well, I, I don't know if you've been similar. there. The, the, when I was there, you, you'd look at this roundabout, and it's, it's you could easily fit eight lanes of traffic around this roundabout. It's, that it's goes eight, around the Arc it, de I swear it's eight lanes. Eight yeah, but they don't stay in a lane. They kind of just go everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just chaotic. Dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. Um, okay, what's there, my, there? We go. Okay, we're coming. We're coming yeah. up on my clothes. I haven't. It's um yeah we'll, we'll uh, finish up here. We'll look at maybe one more photo. Drive on the left side. Is there any photo here that you want to see? Just wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> Carl Webb is letting <laughs> us know. Um that we're wrong. He's wrong, a smart wrong. guy, you gotta to listen to him. Yeah, yeah. They did. Um uh, I wonder why I wanted we to show you this here. one of uh Mike's that it's a bit slow loading up here at the moment. Because he, he does there he is. This one. Have a look at that. What is he doing there? He's this looks he does some really really clever stuff with um, yeah. with his editing. He nice. he uses Snapseed a lot. Um, I'm actually going to get him on the show here probably in the new year. But uh, for 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 a photo out of uh, Snapseed, I think that's uh, pretty bloody impressive. I think it is. I have no I comment. I'm to kick out of that one. No, no comment. No, he, no comment. No comment because he's not using Lightroom. Yeah. Oh no, he, he's not using Lightroom. Oh no, no. You he's said he hashtag. did this all in. He did this all in. No, he did. Um, he did the, oh, he did the manipulation. Mobile. Snap. Yeah, he did the, and uh, Lightroom mobile. Okay. Now yeah. I like it. I like oh, it. Oh, that's why I you want like comment. <laughs> 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 he can use Lightroom uh, and Snapseed. But if he's just using Snapseed, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next photo. Next photo. <laughs> you should, you should okay, look we'll at do, that we'll as do, a, let's as do, a, a let's way do one in more. To... I I okay. I list, I missed my lunch hour. I'm, I'm, uh, oh. I'm ready to uh, eat my lunch. But there was one. That I noticed some. I noticed a there. reflection one. Go scroll back down. I noticed some reflections in water. Keep on going down, down. Down, down. It was like a cityscape in the distance. Um, where did it go? Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. I was really curious how it was done. Where did that go? Wait. Let's go to the northern lights. Up, up one layer, right there in the middle. I want to know about this one because I'm about to go off and photograph northern lights. And let's see. Uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max enhanced slightly using the editor and camera. Interesting. So Mm. um, I wonder what mode he had this in when he captured the Northern Lights. Was 
was it in the night mode and hence like capture the night um say that's what a do you think photo. night yeah, mode i would say that's a night mode photo yeah, yeah. G- given yeah, the, the, the detail in the foreground um that's really curious i'm headed off to do night photography um if they let me into um uh, norway um mm-hmm. Um, and that'll be in February of next year. And I'm, I was very curious to see if Northern lights could be captured with an iPhone and there's proof. Um, cool. Um, yep. fantastic. I would say that's a, 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 a night mode photo with the blown out highlights in the foreground. Yes. But yeah. The, the 12 yeah. is, is not that good for that. I don't think right. it tends to do that. Yeah. Did, uh, I would so w- when are you going there? You thought? February, um, end of um, end of January into February, and between February, yep. January twenty sixth and February fifth, if all goes as planned, okay. and you never know, yep. is this is the are the solar winds going to be in my favor? Will I see the northern mm-hmm. lights? I have no idea. Yep. Um, um, yeah, but I'm going to take the chance, um, and mm. um, check things out. Um, yeah, very good. I'm. I, oh. I I think your your group. I, I I've checked things all on of my list. I have <laughs> I haven't been called a bloody legend yet. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, uh, you're a bloody you're a bloody legend, mate. Uh, um, bloody legend. <laughs> it's been a it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, Are you don't... a subscriber to my YouTube channel, Russell? Yes. Yes. Well, don't you're a bloody listen? legend. That's what that's what the community oh, 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 is called. Okay. If you're a subscriber, you're a bloody legend by default. I, my phone tells me, you know. It, it informs me when you're coming online and <clears throat> when your your next oh, show okay. is running. <clears throat> that must be yep. I sub, I'm a subscriber, right? You're a bloody legend then. I'm a there bloody legend. It has been a <laughs> Thank pleasure. Thank you so much for coming um, on the show, Ben. And um, awesome. I hope they got something out of this. Do you then ru- you run this as a recorded session so people can watch it? Is that right? Yeah. So this and, will be on um, one of my. It'll it'll be listed there on YouTube anyway. Uh, so this show um, is just a live session on YouTube, so you can certainly go back and watch it later. A lot of people do um, because it's a global audience. Not everyone's awake right now and so forth. So people will absolutely come back and watch this later. After um, after I've done these things, I'll go in and tag different channels and stuff if we've spoken about it so they can see it as well. So, yeah, it's that's, that's how you see I'm it. Just, I'm just looking something up before I leave. Um, night, night. Uh, night sky is night night something night night photos hold on a second mm-hmm. uh, um yeah there it is um i'm gonna quickly um shift over to um to share the screen as we leave share screen share screen share screen share screen can you see this on your screen Creative photography on your mobile device. Yes, do you, it's on. Do you the, see this it's on the screen now? Everybody yeah. can see it now. Yep. Okay, so the <clears throat> this this is just location where I stash all the things that I ever mention. You know, like um, even longer, slow shutter, tripods, grips. I stash okay. yep. all of the links here at russellbrown.com forward slash night photos okay um russellbrown.com night photos i think i'll leave with that that's just a nice place like russell spoke about the beast grip where the heck is it and then you can see the link here yeah and so okay, now cool. stop sharing so Perfect. that's it uh, a pleasure thanks mate. um now what do i do now do i just t- say goodbye to now uh, uh, click say good say goodbye to everybody all in the stream and then uh then we can get off goodbye <laughs> Thank you, see you everybody. I'll see you in two weeks. I've uh, got some pretty okay. cool videos coming up shortly. Lots of, I was going to show you some stuff just in case he didn't turn up because we had our time screwed up of all these different bits of gear that people have got, they've sent me. And I'll, I'll just have to wait for videos for those. And I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later.